Hey everybody, welcome back to Twin Chip Studio. And with the release of iOS 16, there has been a new interesting feature, exciting for some maybe. And if you've clicked on this video, you already know that the Joy-Cons, Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons are now compatible with iOS 16. So you can use them to play games on your iPhone or iPad. That's not to say that it is completely flawless. It does come with some of its own problems. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But first, I'm going to show you how to hook your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons up to your iPad or iPhone on iOS 16. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the settings section on your iPad or iPhone, then click Bluetooth and then pick up your Joy-Cons. And on your Joy-Cons, you're going to want to press the little black sync button and hold it for a few seconds. That will then initiate the sync feature. You'll know that by it flashing. Don't press anything on the Joy-Cons again, because if you press the sync button again, it will stop the sync. So you're just going to want to hold the sync button for a few seconds on both your Joy-Cons and just wait for the Joy-Cons to appear on the screen, which they will, as you've seen there, Joy-Con left and Joy-Con right. Tap Joy-Con left, have that synced up, and then tap the other Joy-Con. And once they're both together, they will sync up. And it really is as simple as as that now you can use your joy cons to play games like apex legends call of duty mobile on any game that has a controller feature on ios and there's quite a few especially in apple arcade i have been eyeing up ocean horn 2 for a very long time and i may just take the plunge into that and i know there's also max Payne, bully and a couple of the rockstar classics that i may be willing to buy now that i can use controllers with my ipad but like I said at the beginning of this video, there are a couple of problems. And the first one is that the controller layout for the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons is that A is in the right, B is in the bottom, X is at the top, and Y is at the left, which is, which is Nintendo's way of doing things and has been for a very long time. And then Microsoft came along and they decided they were going to switch all of that around with the Xbox controller. So now my brain and most other games react in the way that a is where it should be so if you want to jump in apex legends for example if you press your usual jump button which is the one at the bottom you're going to end up crouching or sliding same with call of duty when i was playing call of duty mobile i noticed that uh when i was trying to jump i was crouching when i was trying to crouch i was jumping but you can change that you can change that in ios and i'm going to show you how to do that now so if you go to the settings section again and press general that was a new section called game controller and once you've connected a game controller to your ipad or iphone that will then appear in the settings and as you can see the joy con left and right so they've been bunched together and you can then click on that and it'll show you the default controls are set for that now we want to make a new control profile so on the game controller menu what we want to do is to click the bit where it says add profile and then Click on the bit where it says new profile. I'm going to call this one Xbox controls because we want it to be the same as the Xbox controls or you can call it whatever you want really. Haptic feedback. I haven't got that set to anything because the, as we know, the Joy-Cons do not have haptic feedback. But it's nice to know that that's an option and I do know that the PlayStation 5 controller does work with iOS and I am I'm considering buying one just to play, uh, just to test out that haptic feedback because I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet and I've heard haptic feedback is amazing. But what we want to do here is where it says the A button, we're going to click on it, change that to the B button, change the B button to the A button, change the X button to the Y button and the Y button to the X button. And then we do the Hoka Koki and we turn around, but that should be it. But as you can see here, you can set up whatever you want. If you want the left stick to be the right stick or the right stick to be the left stick, you can 100% do that on here. Then click done when you're done and it'll bring up a new controller profile. So now what we need to do is to click on the Joy-Con left and right. And if we want to just change it just so that A and B is the right way around, well, not the right way, but the Xbox way around for Apex Legends, we can just click on Apex Legends and we can just use profile and use the Xbox controls profile just for that. Or if we want it to be the default profile for all of it, we can click Xbox controls. We can click default controls and then where it says use profile, we can use the Xbox controls for that as well so there you have it i mean 
for me, that makes it a whole lot easier when playing games that usually use that profile, you, that I use that profile for naturally, like FPS games and stuff. And every game that on the iOS that does have the control buttons will show you A, B, X, and Y, just like the Xbox controller, because that's the one that they're all set up to use. I know from experience that it really does depend on the game. When I'm playing games like, when I'm playing games on my Nintendo Switch, when I'm playing Legend of Zelda, and I'm playing things like that, my, my mind automatically goes back to A, B, in the right and be being at the bottom so it really will depend on the game you're playing but as far as fps games are concerned i know that when i'm playing those the controller layout has to be b is crouch and it's on the right and a is jump and it has to be at the bottom of the controller so that's just one of the problems the problem that i have with this is that there are no cases yet that allow you to attach your Joy-Cons to your iPhone like you would a Nintendo Switch. So the minute I have the Razer Kitty for my Android phone, it has a little back piece that I can pull apart and stick on to the phone to plug in and it keeps it in place and it's like a grip and it's basically like having a portable um, video game console, but it's basically just my phone with the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. At the minute, there is nothing that allows me to attach it to the iPad or to attach it to my phone. The phone would probably be the best if I had a case that I could slot them in. I was looking at 3D printing one, but I couldn't really find any uh, any 3D print prototypes or anything like that. And I don't own a 3D printer, so it's probably gonna cost me a bit of money to get that done anyway. I just kind of thought that with, the, with iOS now allowing Joy-Cons to attach to the phone, it is a perfect example for somebody somewhere to make a bunch of money by creating a case in which you can just slide a bunch of Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons in, especially as they are perfectly designed for portable gaming. I do have this little clip that I use for my Xbox controller that I can plug my phone, that I can put my Xbox controller into it, and then I can just put my phone at the top and it holds my phone in place, which makes it perfect for playing mobile games, but it still kind of just dangles there, and I'd much rather use the joy cons at the side of the phone which is why i like the razor key sheet when i'm playing games on my android phone as far as the ipad is concerned though it's not that much of a problem because i already have my kickstand that's plugged into the keyboard so it's already stood up if i'm playing games on my ipad then i am usually just sat at a desk or something you can't really carry an ipad around and game with it although if they did have a case with it i wonder if that'd be too much of a of an issue i don't know as far as the phone is concerned i really do wish there was something i could just attach it to the phone like i can with the razor keys like a back piece or something like that so if there's any young entrepreneurs out there that are willing to uh put the money in because certainly i don't have the money to for this kind of venture but if there's any young entrepreneurs out there that are willing to do it i'll pay uh 10 20 for this this kind of case probably even 30 i've seen Cases on Case Defy go for like eighty-five to, to bloody sixty-five dollars for the for phones. So it's probably a huge market for it somewhere. So let me know down in the comments what you think about the Joy Cons now being available as a game controller on iOS sixteen. Will you be using them with your iPhone or iPad to play some games, or will you just stick with the standard Xbox controller? I think this really only benefits people that have a Nintendo Switch and also an iPhone and don't have an Xbox Series S or PlayStation 5. And they're only really gonna be playing like FPS games like Call of Duty. I mean, I never really met any full-time iOS gamers before. I think most of them use touchscreen anyway. Like uh, I know Call of Duty, like world tournaments and stuff, they only allow touch controls for it and things like that. But it really is an interesting addition and it would be exciting to now see more games coming to the iPad, especially with the M2 chips being in the iPad Pros. I've seen Alien Isolation runs on the iPad, which is absolutely astonishing. And I would love to see more, more games, more retro games. I love the Rockstar collection that's on there. I'd love to see games like that just added to the iPad just so I can play some more games on the go. I know that Xbox Game Pass does have xCloud, which is the cloud may be the future of gaming. It may not be the future of gaming. You can say what you want about it, but having an iPad and an Xbox controller instead of having a full console and being able to play games on the go would be amazing. Um, 
I should actually test out Game Pass. That's probably something I should really do. Test it out on the new iPad M2 Pro when it arrives. That's it for this video. I am rambling on now. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know down in the comments all your thoughts and feelings about the Joy-Cons being on iOS. <laughs> or what controllers you'd like to see. What controller do you use? Do you game on an iPad? Do you game on an iPhone? Let me know all this down in the comments. What type of games you play and what type of games you'd like to play. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.